Joshi's blog. I just want to check in because uh, it's been a while since I made a video. A lot's changed. Uh, I'm out of business. I was I was on the fence on whether I wanted to stay in uh, my business or not with the company I was with, and uh, it's really not a good place to be if you're on the fence. That place is for um, committed and ambitious people. If you're on the fence, get out of there. I was on the fence, so now I'm out of there. Uh, dude, I learned a lot. Uh, one of the biggest things I learned from this experience, I just, I just completely wasted three months of my time and a bunch of all my savings are gone and I borrowed money so I gotta make that up but what did I get out of it is uh, I learned how freaking fast you can learn something if you want to learn it like if you want to do something or get into a business or be an expert on something or you want to do something if you really want to and you have the right mindset and the right state of mind, you can learn it so fast. At least I can. That's a good thing to know going forward. Whatever I decide to get into, I can learn everything about it fast. Um, I learned a ton about business. I mean, the company I was with is like, they have awesome business structure, awesome business philosophy. Uh, great culture, great energy, which is, you know, energy is like essential for business and um, the proper business structure. Uh, organization, uh, organization in finances, training, recruitment, execution, customer service. I don't know much about the legal stuff, but um, no matter what business you're in, those are some good skills. I know all about them. Now, uh, so what else did I get? I think I gained my independence. Yeah, I really don't care what literally anybody does. Like my dad. <laughs> uh, like one of the reasons I wanted to get my land was like for my parents. Now I like literally don't care. I mean, I care, but like not enough to affect how I live my life. Like I'm not going to do anything for them. If I can't afford it, if I can afford it, yeah, sure, but like I'm not I'm not stressed out. I'm not I'm not obligated. I'm doing me. Uh, so now I'm really at a point where I'm super free. I don't have any money. But other than that, I'm pretty free. So like I'm at a point now I I can't afford rent. I gotta I'm not gonna be in this room very much longer. Maybe I'll squeeze one more month out of it. I doubt it. I might only be here for like another week. Uh, so I gotta figure out what I'm doing, figure it out pretty fast. I don't have any money. Uh, I got a few job options that I'm connected to. I really gotta figure out what I want. I might want to sleep on the sidewalk and play music. I might want to go to a different state to work. Uh, my biggest problem my biggest sadness right now is that my cats I won't have a place to keep my cats other than that I mean I, I love living with them and I definitely they love living with me and I I'll be fine living without them uh, the 
I think they'll be more sad than I will if they can't live with me anymore and I don't want to see that happen but at the same time like I said like talking about this makes me want to go into like a trance like a meditative trance but I want to finish the video and make sure I get actually all my thoughts out there um like I'm, re I'm really like uh apathetic I was about to say peaceful because it feels like that sometimes it's really apathetic like life happens the cycle continues you know I am where I am things are gonna happen that are gonna happen I'm gonna get where I'm gonna get things are gonna go the way they're gonna go and like I completely believe in my destiny and my fate and I believe I'm on the right track and I believe that everything is going well and according to plan and I'm ending, ending up where I'm supposed to end up I have absolutely no doubt that this life is magic and if I gotta leave, leave my, lose my cats right now then I gotta lose my cats right now I have I'm not heartbroken about it. Maybe a month or two, I would have been heartbroken about it. But I've just been through so much stuff, especially with my dad. I kind of like turn my emotions off and uh, like accept how life works. It's like I'm not hung up on it. I'm I'm missing a lot. Um, Maybe I can go work at a farm and like take my cats with me and maybe that'll be cool. Uh, ideally, I'd like to go into business with a friend, somebody who's ready to go all in and who I can trust. Uh, I can trust them as a person and also trust their business competence, not to like make stupid decisions. Some stupid decisions are fine, like nobody's perfect. Like, I make stupid decisions, but like just and you know everybody has their own preferences so like well, my, what I might think is a bad decision somebody else might value and it's like uh, as long as there's somebody who's able to like have a conversation like this about the business and understand that we're different people with different values and compromise and stick to our word and have skill know what we're doing to make a successful business like I don't want to do it by myself and have like a sidekick who is excited to be a part of it but doesn't really have any business skill like reliability you know like the I was somebody who has like the ability to like make a plan and stick to it granted I made a mm, I was committed to this last thing, but I didn't have a plan, so I didn't stick to the plan because I didn't have one. Somebody else made my plan for me. I think that was the biggest downfall. I need to make my own plan. Uh, yeah, so I want somebody who can like make a plan and stick to it, and somebody who... It's just gonna like have fun like it's gonna be fun working with them and like we don't really care I want somebody who's not afraid of failure that's a big thing if you're afraid of failure if you're afraid of being poor if you're afraid of not being able to eat if you're afraid of sleeping on the street I don't want to work with you I don't I might do that I might not eat and sleep on the street for a while until I figure out exactly what I want to do and exactly who I want to do it with. Is it like working out of fear? It's bad. Like I, I, I get, I get, I, I understand the temptation. I understand like the appeal to working out of fear. Like you're afraid to like lose your house or your, your, your family or your, your food. It's definitely tempting, but it's 
not the right decision. And as I'm talking to you on this video, I want to I'm, want to make be a good role model and make the right decisions. But you working out a passion. You should not be afraid. You should know what you want and go get it. What do I want? I just want to lay the fuck down. I want to I want to spend a year in isolation legally in the woods with a garden to feed myself this isn't anything new anybody who knows me knows this isn't new like I don't want anything I don't want to play video games I don't want to do drugs I don't want to eat food I don't want to do anything that requires an output of energy like dancing or uh music I mean I do love playing music but what I value more is laying down and not having to do anything like once I had that if I got like a year of isolation I would probably play music in that time but like I don't want to play music for the sake of playing music meaning like when I'm like relaxing and peaceful in the woods I want it to come out of me I don't want to I don't want to force it although in the meantime I might have to force it because it's good for affirmations and I'm in a transition period and I gotta keep my head on straight so that might be a tool in the meantime but that's not what I want what do I want is to be left the fuck alone okay no I, I, I want fr the freedom I want freedom to not have to answer to anybody to be alone like in absolute isolation not, like, not see another person's face for a year in the woods legally I don't want to be I don't want to sneak I don't want to be sneaking somewhere and like have to worry about oh if I get found like I want to get kicked off so I want my own land. I want my own land. So how do I get that? That's another video. I'm just catching you up on Joshi's blog. That's where we're at. I'm out of business. It was worth it. The books I read, Think and Grow Rich, The Art of Selling. Those two books are really good. Think and Grow Rich is really good. That's a life change. I was worth it. I'm. <laughs> I was worth it. I, I gave up all my time, all my money. I borrowed money. I am not sad. The the business experience I got and the um, just the books I read and the stuff I learned about myself intellectually on what I can learn and emotionally on like whatever changed inside of me that's making me apathetic like there's pros and cons like everything's a trade in life that's another reason why I'm not worried about it everything's a trade it's like well, if something goes bad it's actually got pros to it you know I'm apathetic that's that's like bad because it's like emotionally absent or something but it is also freeing because it allows me to like work for me in my own interest without worrying about having to take care of others and one door closing opens up another door opens up a bunch more doors so everything everything's a trade that's like another thing I learned and I grew emotionally I grew intellectually learned a lot about business so that's where I'm at uh, lost my job I want land and it was worth it. I'll make a video later about how to get the land, but we're good. Good, good, 